Before fighting Volocross, divide your tanks, healers, and DPS into two even groups. At full energy, the boss submerges, creating two large soak circles that each group must handle. For the first soak, these circles are side by side, but later on in the fight, they move in opposite directions around the arena. And that is why the two groups need to split up and move in different directions around the circular arena. The soak damage is shared amongst players in the circle, leaving fire puddles behind. Not soaking leads to a wipe. The entire arena will eventually be filled with fire, and if the boss is not dead by then, your raid fails the DPS check. Throughout the fight when Volocross is not submerged, it uses coiling flames, tagging random players with a shrinking circle that does damage to players within it. The smaller the circle, the more damage it does. This debuff then transfers to a random party member when the timer expires, Loose spread to manage this. He also does Scorch Tail Crash. A shadow signals the slam location, so move out of it and dodge the lava waves that spawn when the tail lands on the ground. The boss places a stacking damage debuff on the tank with each hit, so the other tank should taunt before or during the Cataclysm Jaws Tank Buster to ensure a debuff free tank is taking the tank buster. Aside from that, dodge all fire swirlies you see on the ground. That's it for Volocross. If you like the guide, do hit the subscribe button. More concise guides coming your way.